Hi everybody, it's Marie from Pear Tree Paper Crafts and I'm back today with a 12 by 12 process video for you. This one is for Cut To You, so I'll just say at the outset that this does count as an advertisement. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm using the Flower Crown Cut File and using the Cricut Design Studio software, um, I've cut it twice, Only I've only cut the um, circle part once and I've kind of cut half of it um, the second time um, just by using the slice feature so that I just got those flowers again because I have a plan as to what I want to do with them. Um, at the bottom of the page there I've also cut another cut file called Beautiful You um, and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to leave it on the mat and I'm just using some Distress Oxides, I'm using Peacock Feathers um, there as the main colour and I'm just covering the whole of those words um, using a makeup brush um, just to give them a little bit of colour and I add ever such slight little bits of other colours in as well just to give it a little bit of variation and then I just leave that to dry to one side um, and then I take these beautiful cut files, so again this is the flower crown um, and what I do is I leave one of them completely whole and then I'm cutting the other one up um, so I'm cutting the circle out and I'm also, um, I think on one of them I cut the leaves off as well so I end up with four separate pieces um, of flowers um, I specifically wanted to use the same flowers so that they matched in um, and what I decide to do um, with those smaller ones is to back them on vellum. So the way I do that, um, it's kind of a new way I've been playing with, um, is to use a paintbrush and some wet glue and to actually paint glue onto the back of them, um, just on a bit of plastic like this, and then to stick it down. And I find that I don't get that kind of push out of glue um, and it doesn't end up nearly as messy. I do get more on my fingers, um, but the, the pieces of cut file don't end up nearly as messy. And then what I do is I take various shades of turquoise greeny blues um, to back the leaves and the flowers on the main um, cut file there. So the pieces are on vellum, but the main part is all beautiful and colourful. So I cut all different sizes. My way of doing this is to um, pop glue on the back, just using my paintbrush again, um, and then to pop a piece of card on the back and then to cut round it, to fussy cut round it with some um, little scissors. There are many ways you can back cut files, you can draw around the shapes, cut them out, then stick them on. You can even use the software um, to cut the the um, shapes out for you. However, with this one, because I wanted it doing it in so many different pieces, it was easier and quicker and probably less wasteful um, to do it just by hand. So I don't make you watch all of this, but I do go around the whole thing and back all the different parts in all different colours. They are all in the same sort of shades though. And now what I'm doing is I'm taking a piece of 12 by 12 um, mixed media paper. This is the Vicky Bootin, I think it's called Foundations Paper. And I have just covered that in white gesso. Um, give it a really good spread around. It gets quite messy, but never mind. And then once it's been left to dry just for a little while, I take my Distress Oxides again. Again, that's peacock feathers. And I'm just gonna get a little bit of water and I'm going to kind of do that a half circle shape using the Distress Oxides. Now the reason um, I've just sewed it first is because then it does this, it moves around the page, um, it isn't um, prevented from moving, it doesn't soak in, and then you can play with the colour, you can move it around, um, and it gives a really effective layout. So I do lots of splatters, I move the colour around with my paintbrush, I get a little bit more out there, and I think in a little while I go for another colour as well, um, just to add a slightly different shade in there. So just I just keep playing with it. Because of that gesso, it does mean that it doesn't dry too quickly and you can play with it, keep moving it around and make sure that you're happy with how it looks. Yes, yeah, so I just get another one out there. I think that's Mermaid Lagoon. And I just add a, you can see that I have a slightly darker um, shade going in there. And it's not the perfect shape at all. Um, it's not quite half moonish, it's not quite half circle-ish, um, but it doesn't matter because the majority of that um, blue there is going to be covered up by the cut file when I pop it on top anyway. So I keep just popping, holding the, the cut file above, making sure I'm happy and keep moving it around until I'm completely satisfied with what I'm going to do with it. So there it is, it's dry now. That's the positioning of my title, Beautiful You and that's where the um, floral cut file is going to go. I did um, 
make a little mistake myself on my cut file and for some reason I didn't get the inside of the E so I just had to quickly pop that out. Um, I am now popping my photograph onto some um, vellum um, to give it a nice soft edge uh, which I always knew sort of torn, I like to tear around like so. And then I'm using a tiny bit of cheesecloth along each side, again, to give another layer of kind of softness and, and um, another texture to the page. As you can see there on the left hand side, I've tucked in those vellum flowers, the ones I backed in the vellum, um, just behind the ones I've backed in coloured paper. They're not massively obvious, but they're another layer, they're another level of, of texture. All I'm doing now is popping a tiny bit of wet glue on each one and sticking them down. I'll pop the wet glue where I know it won't be seen. And then again, to give a little bit more dimension, I'm using a uh, double-sided adhesive foam, um, just like I did on the back of the photograph, just to give a bit of depth to my page. And that's just gonna be stuck straight on top of the flowers that are already there. Here they go. Fiddly little bits to peel off. And that's where it's going to go. And then I do just use wet glue on the back of that cut file. I'll leave it for a second um, just to dry off a little bit so that I don't, hopefully don't get loads of runs of glue everywhere. So I've took my photograph in. My title goes just there. And I'm really happy with how this is looking. This is my son when he was very tiny and he was just beautiful. Apologies there for the glare on the photograph. I forgot that I'd had my light pointing down. And then the last little touch I wanted to do today was to put some Nouveau dots around and pop them all over. And then the last little bit is I take some glossy accents and I stick on some blue sequins. Thank you ever so much for watching my video today. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, pop over to the shop and have a look at some of the beautiful cut files that are available as well as this one. And uh, here come the close-ups. Mm -hmm.